front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Belfont, PA, or Belfont, PA, or Belfont, hey. Either way, I'm out here in Belfont and I'm at Rite Aid. If you know anything about Rite Aid, they've been closing locations across the country left and right because they filed for bankruptcy and they're closing over 400 something locations or close to 500. This was one of them and this one just closed recently and I did a lap around the building already and actually the, the, the garbage area is full of hand baskets and other items from inside of the store so who knows what's going to happen with those if they're going to actually toss them or do the right thing and send them to other stores to be used instead of just sitting there going to waste or even donate them to local thrift stores to be used. Anyway, I wanted to check this out. It's really not a whole lot to see anyway, but figured why not? Let's go check it out and see how it looks in 2024. There's Rite Aid, or what was. You know, looking at reviews of this place, this one wasn't rated very well. A lot of customers were unhappy with this location from the manager not giving a heck about their scripts and letting them know where they were sent to. It seems like they didn't care to be bothered by those types of issues and just closed up shop and said to heck with everyone. And other people were disappointed in this place for not opening on time and just employees being rude. Now, I'm not saying everybody that worked here was like that because obviously they're not all like that, but you have a couple of bad apples that ruin it for everyone else. At least that's what the reviews were saying. Over here you have the signless sign. Ooh, Burger King. <laughs> but over here we have an empty Rite Aid. Obviously we can't see anything through the front doors. But maybe we can through the windows. It seems like it's really hard to see in there. But let's give it a shot. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. Very bright. What can you see in there? Anything? A ladder? Ooh. Can hardly see anything because of the light glare. It's so bright. We're directly in the sun. Let's see, how about over here? Not a whole lot. Just my hand. I know we'll be able to through the drive through in the back. It's a nice day out here, I'll say that. At least people are putting their garbage in the trash. Hmm. Wellness by no one. <laughs> And actually, since it's up pretty high, I don't know. No, I can't reach up there. I got the little selfie stick thing. That might be able to help us. So let's go grab that out of the trunk of the car. I have to remember with Rite Aid, they don't like you seeing inside of the store for some reason. So they put the windows up super high. Don't really know why, but okay. And honestly, the gates, is that really necessary at this location? I mean, this seems like a really nice, quiet peaceful town where nobody causes any trouble. I mean, I don't know. I'm not from around here, but this seems like such a quaint little awesome town, especially downtown Belfont where the creek goes through and they have a little park there. It's just beautiful. I don't know. Seems like it's overkill to have those gates there. Anyway, let's get that thing to use it. All right, this ought to do us some good. Should be able to see in there now if we can. Don't even know if we can. <laughs> what can you see? Anything? I can't see anything at all. Whoop. Anything, guys? Sorry if you can't see anything. I'm trying. <laughs> I can't see anything at all. 
Oh, we tried that. That was a little bit of a fail, but we tried it. Don't worry, in the back we'll be able to see it. Oh, look at those windows way up there. I don't even think this is going to reach up there. Those are way too high. Heck no. <laughs> I would need a selfie stick that's like six feet tall. <laughs> Not meant to be. Just keep walking around. Parking lot's in great shape. Everything here is in excellent shape. what I don't understand. Do they have another one in this neighborhood? Or was it just that bad that Rite Aid said, you know what, the heck with it, get rid of it. drive through pharmacy. Here's where I knew we'd be able to see inside. With ease. I hear something beeping. You can see right into the store too. Let's zoom all the way in. Seasonal. All the shelving. See, you can see right outside through the front windows. It's just hard to see them because of the sun. Thank you. That's what it says above the door. Hmm. Nothing. I hear something beeping though. Cosmetics, oral care, beauty. Well, at least we could see through these windows. Oh well. Moving on. Here's where I said all those baskets were. There's tons of them in here. I don't need them for anything, but if you want them, <laughs> you know where to get them. There's tons of them, old and new. The newer ones that are slightly larger, I think they have wheels on them too, than all the regular hand baskets. Shelves. They even have shopping carts in here. I don't know what that sound was. It's not like something turned on for the building. Look at all the baskets they have in there. Need a hand basket? You know where to get it. There's a little tiny blue one up on top. What's up with that one? Let's see. It just said Rite Aid on a sticker. <laughs> That's just the cardboard dumpster. Nothing else going on in here, though. Unless you want a hand basket. I don't need any. I've actually been trying to downsize at home. So hopefully they'll go to good use. There's some more windows that are just sky high. There's no way I could even reach the camera all the way up there, even with this thing. That's just too high up. <laughs> oh, look at that, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, rocking strong in 24. <laughs> An actual Jeep Grand Cherokee, or Jeep Cherokee. Not that Fiat junk they call Cherokees today. Anyway. Guess that'll wrap it up for here. Hopefully something moves into it and takes it over instead of leaving it sit here empty. That'd be nice. I know the people of Belfont would appreciate that. I guess time will tell. All right, everyone. Well, I am going to wrap up this video and head on out of here. I want to see what else I can find while I'm out this way today. It's such a beautiful day for 2024. Winter time like this, too. Even though Punxsutawney Phil said he did not see a shadow, which I'm very proud of him for that. I even got my Groundhog Day hat, my Punxsy Phil hat when I was in Punxsy this weekend. What a fun time that was. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up now and head on out of here and enjoy this nice weather while I can. 
Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe for more content. And until next time, take care and stay awesome, everybody. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.